Hello my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us start by giving praise and thanks to our Father for His wonderful love and mercy that He has poured upon us. Our verse for today is Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This verse comes from the book of Deuteronomy, which is the fifth book of the Old Testament and was written by Moses. The book contains Moses' final words to the Israelites before they enter the Promised Land, and it serves as a reminder of God's covenant with his people. At this point in the book, Moses is old and nearing the end of his life. He has led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt and through the wilderness for 40 years. Now, he is preparing to pass the mantle of leadership to Joshua, who will lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. In Deuteronomy 31, Moses addresses the people one last time and gives them his final words of instruction and encouragement. He reminds them of all that God has done for them and assures them that God will continue to be with them in the days to come. Moses is telling Joshua and the Israelites to be strong and courageous, even in the face of their enemies. He reminds them that they are not alone, for the Lord their God is with them and will never leave them nor forsake them. This verse is just as relevant for us today as it was for the Israelites. We too face many challenges and obstacles in our lives, and we need to be strong and courageous in the face of adversity. But we can take comfort in the fact that God is with us always. He will never leave us nor forsake us, and He will give us the strength and courage we need to face whatever challenges come our way. In a world that is constantly changing, and where there are so many things that can cause us to be afraid and anxious, this verse reminds us that we can have confidence and hope because of God's presence in our lives. It is a reminder that we are not alone and that we can trust in God to see us through whatever challenges we may face. Let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your constant presence in our lives. Help us to be strong and courageous in the face of adversity and to trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness. We pray for your guidance and protection as we face the challenges of each day. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining me today, my brothers and sisters in Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you.